Alright, what is up everybody? Let's go again on the 15 minute auto pairing. Okay, we got a new game here. So, 1c4 played on the board. So how are we going to respond to that? Okay, going for a um, g3 setup now. I'm going to try to play a um, yeah, the Fianchetto Slav, like what I like to call it. <laughs> okay. So we have a trade now. Okay. So how am I going to play this? Knight c6. Very uh, classical development. Alright. So who is this guy? Fearless1 <laughs> with the uh, um, US flag. No idea who this guy is. Hmm. 715 minute games. Yeah, very um, old. Wow, he's been on since at least 05. That's interesting. Hmm. So he's been on ICC quite some time. So very cool. Okay, Knight C6. This must be a novelty. <laughs> he's going into the think tank. Yeah. Okay. A3. That's interesting. All right. So, I can play a knight e4 here, at the very least. Knight e4, I think is what I'm going to do. Opening up my uh, bishop against the, um, opening up my bishop on the long diagonal, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, so... Okay look at this one more time hmm forty four thousand one minute games that's quite a bit of bullet <laughs> bullet addict all right okay so knight takes e4 d takes e4 knight d2 I can even consider f5 there or just grabbing on d4 I think I've already equalized here at least. Okay. And if he does nothing, say he plays something like bishop f4, I'll probably just take on c3 and get a asymmetrical pawn structure going. And then uh, try to target that um, backward c pawn. Okay. Alright, so what's he going to do? We don't know yet, because he's thinking. <laughs> okay. What else? Um, there's sometimes knight h4 ideas, but I usually don't think that's very good against a fianchetto structure, so... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Bishop e3, okay, that's interesting. Um, Overprotecting d4, probably actually thinking about uh, taking on uh, e4 now and knight d2 and stuff like that. So probably just take on c3 here. Makes um, some sense. And then probably something like a6, bishop a6, knight e5, knight c4, jump in there. I can play other structures too, though. Hmm. I can also consider e5. I mean, um, e5 after knight takes c3, b takes c3, e5 there. But then I'd be playing an iqp, which I uh, don't really want to. So let's take on c3, which is um good follow up. All right. Okay. All right, now we'll just go for um, <clears throat> b6, knight a5, and knight c4, bishop a6 as well, and just try to occupy that uh, c4 square. Yeah, I think the bishop is a bit misplaced on e3. It'll have to move again to say f4 or 
Yeah, I don't really know. So if I can get bishop a6, okay, yeah, he's trying to play c4, but, uh, I'm not going to allow it. Friend that. arrived. Okay, so briefly, if bishop a6, queen a4 spells trouble, so <laughs> let's just go uh, knight a5 and try to get into that uh, square. It's a bit scary with this uh, long diagonal open, sort of a Catalan bishop, but it should be okay, really, I mean... Mm-hmm. Okay. I was actually rather expecting knight e5, but, um... Okay, he didn't opt for that, so I'll play bishop here now. Yeah. <laughs> He's really wanting to get in c4, and I really want to stop it, so... Yeah. I think I have plenty of support. Okay, rook there. He's, uh, prophylactically defending the e-pawn. Okay, so, knight here, I could really play knight uh, c4 here and just allow the trades. Hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. Um, knight c4 looks very good, very uh, equal-ish, just occupying that square. Rook c8 is probably my alternative. Hmm, rook c8. What to do? Rook c8. Hmm. Rook c8 is um, very nice because it also gets out of this long diagonal, which is, um, yeah, a bit uh, annoying. Okay. Alright, so just rook c8, I guess. Simple enough. Alright. If bishop h3, e6 looks solid. <laughs> solid, uh, you know. And then my next move is probably just going to be maybe queen d7 to stop any queen a4 ideas, or probably, or maybe just knight c4 immediately. Either way. Okay. f3, that's interesting. Okay, so bishop f2 and e4 he wants. Okay, that legitimizes his bishop on um, on e3, but okay, it also closes his bishop on g2, so e5 now maybe? Um, e5 to try to break at the center, or knight c4. I really like e5, even though it's an IQP. It's uh, not the worst IQ IQP ever, since White has played f3. And in the long run, if he ever gets e4 in, his second rank is really loose. e5, um, d takes e5, bishop takes e5. I'm already threatening um, the pawn on c3. He might play bishop d4 there. But then I can, hmm, jump in with knight c4 maybe. Very interesting. If I play queen d7, bishop f2, and then e5, um, and after taking and bishop takes, if he goes um, bishop d4 there, then he's sort of lost tempo, and I've gained the useful queen d7. Okay, I like this move. This is a good uh, prophylactic move anyway. Protecting the a4 square, making uh, knight c4 a bit uh, safer at the optimal moment. And also, uh, maybe preparing e5. So let's see how he reacts to that. I'm expecting uh, bishop f2. That's the most logical follow-up to what he did. Which makes sense, you know, getting some uh, play going. Yeah, okay, so now e5. And if he um, takes, bishop takes, bishop d4 is a loss of tempo in the line because he moved back. and. Losing Tempe, um, and if he doesn't play Bishop D4, I'm just attacking the C3 pawn. 
Okay, so this looks pretty nice. Um, white's not getting an E4 with any devastating effect. Hitting the center and really controlling C4, which is the uh, critical square. Hmm. Okay. So, okay, E3, yeah, but okay, now, now um, E4 is not happening, and if you're, if you're not playing E4, I really don't get F3, so, okay. So now just Knight C4, I guess, maybe, getting my um, Knight back into the game. I mean, his Knight is not much better, but okay, my Knight on A5 is <laughs> not doing so much. Okay, anything better, though. Taking on d4 doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I could play f5, try to play dynamically, but really don't like pushing my f pawn, weakening the second rank. So knight c4 probably takes takes, and um, hmm, or knight c4, um, you know. Friend departed. Is there anything better? What about just a simple move like Rook E8? Just um, getting another piece out. Or doubling. That could that could be a good idea too. Something like Rook C6 and then Rook F C8. Just ganging up on that pawn. It's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. Okay, let's go for that. Or rook c7, is that maybe a bit more precise on the second rank? Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's go for it. Rook c7 and then just double up. Instead of a concrete play, just double up. The queen side is just completely locked down. So, okay, he wants to trade those bishops. Okay, I really don't mind that. These were probably going to come off anyway at some point. King takes, wow. Okay. I was expecting knight or rook takes. Why would take with the king? Okay, queen h3 check, king g1. Doesn't really lead to much. Okay. But now, now white always has to look out for um, queen h3 checks, and I could just double, like I intended to do. All right, threatening the pawn. Yeah, the king just doesn't look right on f1. So, okay, a lot of pressure on that c3 pawn. And my knight on a5, um, even though it's sort of out of the game, it's stopping c4, it's stopping, you know... If um, white tries knight b3, I even have knight c4, and it can't be taken. And Server announcement. All sorts of fun. Okay, rook b1, or knight b1. Okay. All right, can I gang up on that pawn anymore? I could go, um, hmm. Hmm. I also have queen um, b5 check. Wow. Or knight b3 now is an option. Wow, okay. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Maybe f5 now is an idea with the idea of just playing e4 and completely locking it down. I mean, um, white is stuck to all these weaknesses. He doesn't really have a whole lot of play, and I control the only potentially opening file. Okay, so if I play f5 and he takes on um, e5, bishop takes e5, then my bishop is hitting the pawn. Yeah, I actually like this. Let's go for it. Okay, briefly consider f5, e4. Okay, the positioning is opening up for me. Okay. So f5, good enough. 
All right, so 5 minutes and 52 seconds to 8 minutes and 20. So a bit of a clock disadvantage. Okay, so he's putting his rook um, on C2 or B2, which makes sense. Let's um, continue with um, E4. Just gaining a lot of space. F4 would close it down, and then it would allow me the, yeah, very nice, you yeah, know, just a very nice position. And if he takes on E4, I'll take with the F pawn, open up the F file, and switch my attention there. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. All right. So f4. He might play um, rook e um, to c2. Anyway, just um, ignoring e4 and saying if I take on f3, he'll take with the queen. Could be an idea. Okay. So he's just playing there. Okay. So we got the pawn to e4. Okay. All right. So maybe now, um, maybe target that um, a3 pawn a little. So bishop d6, queen a, um, queen e7. After that, ideas like that, and just quickly start targeting that pawn. All right. Let's attack the a3 pawn. Bishop d6 next, probably, with queen e7. Yeah, white is just really tied down. Not a whole lot of space. Hmm. Okay. So bishop d6. Just a very pleasant uh, position to play. So white is probably thinking about a4. Which just okay, or that, <laughs> or rook a2, defending the pawn somehow. All right, so let's go. Um, what next? Probably bishop d6. Oh wait, maybe um, hmm, knight d2 now. Hmm. Okay. See, the problem is my deep pawn is no longer defended. But, um, okay, there's no way to take advantage of it. Hmm. Okay. Just bump my king up. Um, if knight e2 and he trades, then um, okay, that's not very uh, <laughs> pleasant, I don't think. Maybe even maybe I should go to e6 with my um, king. Maybe that'd be better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Okay, so maybe now um, a lot of ideas. I could even play rook a4 and then my um, other rook to c4. <laughs> that would be uh, a lot of pressure to deal with. All right, four minutes and 11 seconds. Maybe uh, kick it up into a higher gear. Okay, I have all the time in the world here. I can maneuver around, and white just has no play. I can just pressure and poke for a little bit. Okay, he's trying to um, break it down a little. That is interesting. Let's go here. I 
So a5, queen c7 looks um, very nice. Okay, he's going there. Okay, maybe just uh, queen here. With the idea of maybe um, b6 at, or a6 at some point. Interesting. Okay, queen c8, a6, a lot of ideas. I can also prepare h6 and g5 as I as another idea to open it up. Maybe even um, h6, g5, and then um, take on f4, takes back. And then if I move, say I get my queen to b8, for example, and then think about some sort of bishop sacrifice on f4. Something like that could be good. Okay, well, one good thing is time is becoming more even, so that's good. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so maybe um, think about, <laughs> um, hint at the idea of g5 a little. Then maybe queen b8. The queen side is still really on lockdown, so... Plenty of ideas here. Yeah. Okay. So, really lining it up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Interesting. If I go G5 now, takes, takes. can't take on b6 because a rook takes b6. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I think bishop d2 is needed. Okay. That is interesting. If I go um, queen to um, h8 now, how does he oppose my, uh, queen? Okay, so... And there's also a king, uh, g2, there's also queen h5, and my queen is infiltrating. Yeah, okay. Alright. Hmm. So queen h1 check, king f2. Um, hmm. Maybe I can sack the exchange there or something. Hmm. Okay, maybe um, take on a5 here before anything else. It's sort of complicated, I don't know. Hmm, what to do? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I know a7. Hmm. Wow. Really, really complicated. 130. Okay. 
Okay. Huh. Okay, queen f3 is an idea. Check. Okay. <laughs> Let's go for this. Wow, what a position. Okay, target that pawn. He has a check. Hmm. One check. minute. Wow, really tense. Okay. Check. I go here now. Check. And then um, try to grab on C3. Check. Hmm. It's probably a draw now, right? <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. 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 Check. Thirty six seconds. Check. Hmm. Check. Okay. Hmm. Check. 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 Draw offered. All right. Well, I offered a draw. Okay, he's going for it. Mm, okay. Check. Check. Time warning. Check. Check. Mm -hmm. Check. 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 Black forfeits on oh. time. <laughs> yeah, what can you do? It's, of course, a draw now, but... Oh. Alright. Well, that was a good game, though. Yeah. Very interesting game. Um... Yeah, I'll be back in 3, 2, 1 with analysis. So let me start that count again. 3, 2, 1, bloop. All right, I am back. So there's actually not a whole lot to look at um, here. It seems I actually played uh, this pretty well up until the time scramble. But um, there is one point right here where, um, yeah, we could first see that black is um, doing very well positionally. And I use... Um, well, very humbly, it's probably um, even winning 
just positionally, but um, okay, we see a nice knight, um, just complete control of the C file, um, white is very cramped, yeah, just many positional factors, more space, etc. But um, okay, so I was already in sort of a positional grind mode, <laughs> so to say, and um, okay, but the computer, um, yeah, points out a very nice tactical idea here with g5 the um so yeah the point being that if the pawn is taken f4 is very strong okay we can briefly look if e takes f4 there is the very nice shot bishop takes f4 takes back queen h3 and we're simply threatening let's say white makes a nothing move here like say rook a1 then check, check here checkmate is checkmate so white needs to defend that, say with a uh, king g1, which is probably the best objectively. Check. And then queen e3 check would uh, pick up a rook because of the fork. Okay, so which would be winning. So we could go back after f4. Then the um, <clears throat> the uh, <laughs> the worst recapture or the worst capture is g takes f4. When queen e3 is directly um, threatening the mate, but without a bishop sacrifice. So again, we're threatening to take here, and knight takes e3 checkmate, so king g1. Check. Queen takes e3 again as a fork and is completely winning. Okay, so going back. After g5, white um, would have to make a normal move. Um, I don't know, some sort of positionally just move, say knight d2, trying to get rid of my strong knight. Then queen to f7 and to h5 and uh, yeah <laughs> yeah it's going to be infiltration. It's very hard to defend both sides of the board, and this would give uh, black a very uh, good game here. Probably this is probably objectively you know probably just probably just an improvement in general is a good way of putting it. And uh, yeah, but this is very hard to find, of course, with only four minutes on the clock. And uh, yeah, never in a million years would I. Um, yeah, even look at this move, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's very strong it seems. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, and I'll be back with new stuff in the future. Thanks for watching. Peace.